We have a long history of contributing to the livability of Sydney. Over the last 125 years, we've provided water and wastewater services that's been the backbone for a livable Sydney community. But our challenges have never been greater, and it's time for us to have a paradigm shift in the way we think about water and wastewater and collaboration. The new urban water owning paradigm is a shift to eco-efficient planning, and that needs to consider the environment, the economy, society, its culture. And the water industry needs to be a key part in that. But to achieve that paradigm, we need to change. We are not plumbers, we're planners and master planners at that. The Water Services Association of Australia just brought out a new vision for the water industry in Australia. And its vision is customer driven, enriching life. And that says it all, that customers will be the focus of our change for the future. And the water industry will all be about collaboration to ensure we contribute to a livable city. There are four things that we need to do well to change our culture. We need to be more proactive than reactive. We need to be more collaborative than siloed. We need to focus on value rather than costs. And we need to look at solutions rather than services. To make livability real in the organisation, we're pushing ahead with a number of flagship projects. Firstly, we're doing customer research. We're asking customers what aspects of a city make it livable to them. And we're integrating this information in our planning for our water and wastewater systems. Secondly, we're doing collaboration about urban planning in greenfield and infield areas which are becoming more important in our city. We're piloting a new urban planning tool that will integrate different aspects of livable cities including water and wastewater systems and we're piloting that with the other agencies. We want to create healthy and vibrant open spaces from areas that were once fenced off, they were polluted, they were used for stormwater purposes. We want to open them up, we want to make it part of the community for them to use it for recreational purposes, for environmental purposes. We see great value in this change. At Sydney Water, we're investing a lot in research and development across a wide range of fields, but two in particular. We're doing a lot on climate change in our area and Sydney Water has developed a world famous ADAPT water tool, not only for the water industry, but for other utilities. And it will help us and them work out the differences that climate change will make to our assets. We're also focusing on research in energy. We see that as a big area of livability. We want our future to be that we generate more and more renewable energy from our wastewater treatment plants and we see that as an achievable future. We're developing new products and services. It's all about shifting away from services to solutions. We're asking customers what they would value. For example, would customers want us to fix their sewer blockages from their own private pipes while our crews are on site? Can we use our own technology to solve customers' problems with leaks on their own properties? And would customers like us to offset their energy use for the supply of their water and wastewater? The future is all about customers and solutions. We want to enrich their life and add value. Now I've been in the industry a long time and I've seen enormous change over the last 20 years. And the future will be no different. But just imagine what cities we can create for the future with integrated urban water design, with collaborative planning, with eco efficiency, with livable solutions, with energy planning, with good transport. The pieces of the jigsaw puzzle are there. They're just scattered across different areas. Our job is simply to put the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together.